Hello guys. In this video I'm going to change the BIOS battery in the, this Dell uh, Latitude E6400. I realized that uh, there might be a problem with the BIOS battery because uh, twice it has lost uh, the BIOS information when I removed the main battery. It does not give me an error that the BIOS battery is low, but uh, I actually do not know if this laptop uh, knows how to give an error when the BIOS battery is low. So at this point uh, I'm going to test it and see if it is actually bad. First of all, remove the big battery because we are going to work inside the laptop. Undo this screw in the middle, pull on this like uh, that towards you, remove it, uh, put it safely somewhere. And this is our battery. I think it is uh, kind of uh, stuck and glued in place. This is uh, how it, uh, they put it in place uh, most of the times, just glued. But it's actually a little bit under the plastic here, so you can see I'm just... Uh, let me try and move my camera a little bit. I'm pushing on this uh, edge and try to take it out somewhere. I really don't know which is the cor correct uh, direction. And actually I might even try to unplug it first. It could go easier if it is unplugged. But of course it's a really small uh, plug and pretty annoying to take out. Unplugged and let's see. Does it go easier? Nope. Okay, it's out. Like I said, it seems to be with uh, holding place with double-sided tape. At this point, I really don't know if this battery is good or not. So I'm going to try and do something. I will cut just a little bit to expose the metal. Uh, so I can use my multimeter to see if this is good or not. Because I don't have an original battery, so I'm going to do something with one of these and put it inside the heat shrink. So if this is still good and there is another problem, I don't want to damage it for nothing. So I'll be back in a second after I make some small holes in there with uh, a cutter probably. I made uh, two tiny holes, one here and one here with this. So I'm going to try and uh, measure the voltage. It should be somewhere around uh, 3 volts. I think the minimum is somewhere around 2.7 volts or something like that. Uh, I have no idea what we will get. Let me try and pick this up so you can see it better. Hopefully you can see it. And let me just try. It doesn't really matter uh, the polarity. I will try to guess it from the shape, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. We are way, way, way below. Let me try again. Maybe I didn't make a good contact. But I think this battery really is uh, honestly gone. Okay, I'm on metal without a doubt. Yes. So you can see half a volt. This battery is 100% gone. Let me just test this battery. We are at 3 volts. So this is a good battery. Uh, a brand new one should be 3.2, 3.3, something like that. This is not a brand new one. I don't have a brand new one, but uh, it's not really old, so it will last many years without any issues. Okay, at this point I'm going to dismount, uh, dismantle this and see exactly what is in. Of course, 
you could buy a brand new one and you just uh, put it in there and it's really easy but uh, I guess uh, if you've watched some of my videos you know that I don't do stuff like stuff like that and I try to use uh, minimum amount of money possible. At this point I'm going to peel away the double sided tape because I'm planning on reusing it. But I do not know if I can reuse this whole uh, cover for the, from this battery. Let me just put it aside here. Okay, and uh, let's start cutting and see what uh, what we get inside. This is just some uh, some insulation. Okay. We are almost at the the battery. At this point, uh, I think this is useless. I'm going to set it aside. Let me try and realize what date is this. Is it 2009? I don't think it's 2011. So it could be 2009. So that is a, basically a 7 year uh, battery. Okay, this is what we got. Now this will be uh, not really really easy because as you can see this is uh, soldered, actually not soldered, um, dot welded in here. So I'm going to try and uh, pry this uh, apart and see if I'm able to really 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 and extremely quickly solder onto this one. Of course I'm going to do a test on this one because it could not work. I might not be able to solder so then I will try to find another way. It is uh, quite dangerous to solder onto coin cells because they will explode if heated. That's not funny at all. But I want to try and solder because that uh, makes a pretty good contact. If not I will find uh, another way. But at this point I'm going to try and remove this off video because for sure it will take a while to undo them. I'm going just to try and cut a little bit of this. Let me try and not cut my fingers, that would be awesome. It doesn't really want to be cut like that, so I'm going to try with a knife. Okay, I think it's cut, hopefully. This could be an issue because I have no idea if this is uh, actually glued to the battery or just uh, heat shrinked. Let me try now. Okay, I'm going to do this off video because now I'm basically looking through the camera a lot and I can't really see what I'm doing. This is pretty strong, the insulator. I've cut it in uh, three places and I started uh, bending it so I can take out the battery. And it should be out, okay? The bad battery, we put it aside. We will uh, recycle it. And put the new battery in. This is the most important part for us, the front of it, not the back. So it doesn't really matter that the back is, uh, the back insulator is a little bit bent and out of shape. The big danger is in the front part of this.
Okay, this is good enough. We don't need better. Back. I've cleaned the battery. Let's put the heat shrink. It will enter uh, way easier this time. And stop there. Also clean the contacts. Be back in a second. I should have done this off video, but it's late now. Uh, make sure you put the positive, like I told you before. Let me try and also put that in at the same time. It will not be quite easy. Okay, they are in now. Make sure the battery is in the middle. Make sure your contacts did not move. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Contacts are in position. And again, let's heat shrink the hell out of this. At this point, the contacts are okay. You can see them in there. So they are clearly making contact because they are bent. So it's impossible, believe me, to not make contact. Uh, let's plug this in again. Hopefully this time for the last time. And uh, let me just see how it stays in place without double-sided tape. I just have to cut a little bit of this. In this laptop it seems the space is it's really, really, really tight. In other laptops I didn't have uh, any problems taking out and putting back the battery in. In this one it's extremely tight. You can see even my heat shrink is having problems uh, fitting in here. There is no need for the double sided tape. Absolutely no need. If uh, the space would be a little bit bigger it would be needed but no, it's in there. It's not moving anywhere. Okay, in place. It even looks pretty decent after all this work, probably 25 minutes to half an hour of work. And let's put the cover back on. It went into place without issues. We are booted into Windows. Let's shut it down. Turn it around. Remove the battery. Clip it back in. Turn the laptop around again. And power it on. And as you can see, no more error. And the time was exactly the time that Windows Vista decided to set by itself. I have no clue why. But it's clear our battery is working perfectly.